welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the alternate segment property. First of all let us see what are the segments of a circle. A chord divides the circle into two parts. which are called segments of the circle consider this circle with center O and it has a chord AB as you can see this chord AB divides the circle into two parts one is the smaller part and one is the larger part and so these two parts are the segments of the circle. The smaller part is the minor segment of the circle and the bigger part or the larger part is the major segment of the circle. Consider this tangent PT to the circle. at the point A and this AB is the chord of contact and this is the major segment that is AXB is the major segment and AYB is the minor segment. As you can see angle BAT and the segment AXB lie on the opposite sides of the chord of contact AB. Now if you consider the angle BAT then we say that AXB is the alternate segment for angle BAT and in the same way if you consider the angle BAP that is this angle then we say that AYB is the alternate segment for the angle BAP. So the minor segment in this case which is AYB is the alternate segment for the angle BAT. So for angle BAT, AXB is the alternate segment and so this angle that is angle AXB is the angle in the alternate segment And again, in the same way, for angle BAP, that is this angle, AYB is the alternate segment. And so, this angle, that is angle AYB, is the angle in the alternate segment. Now we will discuss the theorem on the angles and alternate segment or you can say the alternate segment property according to which we have that if a straight line touches a circle and From the point of contact, a chord is drawn with 
the angles between the tangent and the chord are respectively equal to the angles in the alternate segments. Consider this figure in which we have a circle with center O. This P and Q is the tangent to the circle. From this point of contact of the tangent to the circle, that is the point M, we have drawn a chord MN. This chord divides the circle into two parts, that is the segments of the circle. MSN is the major segment of the circle and MRN is the minor segment of the circle. Now, if you consider the angle NNQ, that is this angle, the alternate segment for the angle NNQ is MSN. And if you consider the angle PMN, that is this angle, then for this angle the alternate segment is M R N and we have to prove that the angles between the tangent and the chord are respectively equal to the angles in the alternate segments. Let us now see what all is given to us. We are given that P and Q is a tangent to the circle at point M and we have to prove that the angle between the tangent and the chord that is first we have angle N and Q is equal to the angle in the alternate segment for the angle N and Q the alternate segment is M S N and the angle in the segment M S N is this angle that is angle M S N. So we have to prove that angle N M Q is equal to angle M S N. Then next we have to prove that this angle P M N is equal to the angle in the alternate segment which is angle M R N. Let us do some construction here. Join M O and produce it to meet the circle at point C T and then join T S. We have done the construction. Now we will start with the proof. First of all, we will prove that angle N M Q is equal to angle M S N. Now as we know, that the tangent at any point of a circle and the radius through this point are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, we can say that the radius OM is perpendicular to MQ. 
since OM is perpendicular to PQ, so we can also say that OM is perpendicular to MQ. So this means that angle OMN, that is this angle plus angle NMQ, that is this angle, is equal to 90 degrees. Or we can say that angle TMN, since angle OMN and TMN are equal, so angle TMN plus angle NMQ is equal to 90 degrees. Let this be result 1. Now angle MST is equal to 90 degrees since this is the angle in a semicircle and we know that angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Now as angle MST is equal to 90 degrees, so from the figure we can say that angle MSN plus angle MST is equal to 90 degrees. That is in place of angle MST we can write angle MSN plus angle NST. That is, we add these two angles. Let this be result 2. Now, from the results 1 and 2, we get that angle TMN plus angle MNQ is equal to angle MSN plus angle MST. But from the figure we find that angle MST, that is this angle, is equal to the angle TMN, that is this angle. As they are the angles in the same segment MSTN. So in the segment MSTN we have the angles NST and angles TMN and so they are equal. Now since these two angles are equal so they can cancel each other. Therefore, we have angle MNQ is equal to angle MSN. And this is what we were supposed to prove that we get that this angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in its alternate segment. So, hence proved the first part. Next we are supposed to prove that angle PMN is equal to angle MRN. Now from the figure we find that MRN is is a cyclic quadrilateral And so angle MRN plus angle MSN is equal to 180 degrees since they are the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral MRNS and so their sum is equal to 180 degrees. Let this be result 3. Now again from the figure we have angle QMN plus angle PMN is equal to 180 degrees 
since they form a linear pair. Let this be result for now from the result three and four we get that angle MRN plus angle MSN is equal to angle QMN plus angle PMN. But we already know that angle QMN or you can say MNQ is equal to angle MSN and we have proved in part 1. So this means that these two angles will cancel each other and therefore we get angle MRN is equal to angle PMN. That is we have angle PMN is equal to angle MRN and this is what we were supposed to prove. So hence we have proved the second part also. This completes the proof of the alternate segment property. From this we can conclude a test for tangent which is if a straight line to any point on the circumference makes an angle with any chord to that point and that angle is equal to the angle in the alternate segment then the straight line is a tangent to the circle. Like for this figure, if we have that the straight line P and Q makes an angle N and Q with the chord N N and this angle N and Q is equal to the angle in the alternate segment which is MSN then this means that P and Q is a tangent to the circle. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the alternate segment property.